You did good, my dude. Yeah, no, seriously, you actually did an amazing job. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Boys! I was worried so much. I, I mean, I wasn't worried at all right there. How's it going, boys? Today on Historic Brawl, we are playing Gandalf the Grey. And this guy is absolutely dangerous. And that's not just because he looks homeless and everyone homeless is inherently dangerous by default. No, that is because his effects are quite insane. He may as well be a literal copy ninja, because one of the effects that Gandalf the Grey has is copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose a new target for it. And well, what can I say? When we have things like a thousand year storm, sunbird's invocation, fiery, a, a fiery emancipation, storm of Saruman, there's a lot of copying going on, and also things like Snowborn Simulacrum, which, by the way, works like this. Target X things create permanence of those X things, you know? So, we can create a permanent Storm of Saruman that copies the creation of a Snowborn Simulacrum that copies the creation of Storm of Saruman, for example. Or, alternatively, I don't know, a, a lot of procs of Thousand Year Storm? I mean, our, our options here are absolutely boundless and endless, and it is mwah, absolutely amazing. We have some good counter spells here, Tails and uh, Wash Away, and the thing that counters uh, the, you know, things. Well, count, counter spell, I, I mean by that. Yeah, pretty good card. Then we have a lot of rats, a lot of removals, and a decent amount of planeswalkers. All the Chandras, well, not all of the Chandras, but a lot of the Chandras. Chandra dress to kill even Ral him himself because well all of these emblems are essentially the same deal whenever you cast something usually red or a sorcery or anything in general you deal damage so that's kind of the point here we are gonna be absolutely without question brutal okay and this build is one of the most brutalest things ever possible as foretold because it's a neat card and you know a bunch of mana rocks are here also the Celestus, I'm trying to get as much real life gain as possible with things like uh, Cosmos Elixir. And somewhere here we have a land that's called the Interpla uh, Interstell Interplanar Beacon. Stupid name, wizards, fix it. In any case, this thing gives us one life anytime we play a Planeswalker. Kinda useful, technically. But in any case, without any further ado. Uh, 40 lands to be exact, yeah, I, uh, this, this confused me when I needed to go down. 3.8 average mana cost, but we do have so many rats and so many counter spells, honestly, should not matter most of the time. Anyway, with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack at it and see what happens. Oh boys, this is the fable matchup, Gandalf vs. Saruman. Now we're talking. And also, we have a Celestus. So, this guy's ability, by the way, is super dangerous to us. Because we have a lot of good enchantments and a lot of good instants. So, it's pretty much going to always be uh, get rid of Saruman any moment possible. So, yeah, that's definitely something. As foretold, is huge, by the way. Okay, okay. Four damage. We can deal three damage to face, but not four damage to him. Opt. What a card. I guess it makes sense. But yeah. Wow. Hopefully he doesn't get a thousand year storm. Or, you know, honestly, anything good at all. Oh, this is gonna be a matchup of a lifetime. The rivalry. The bribery. Oh yeah, one bearded hobo versus another bearded hobo. My favorite kind of action. You know? Better than anything else I have seen on the internet. For show. Sure. Uh, more lands, tap lands. This is an untap land, so yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Also, cool art on the Silver Bluff Bridge. You can't see it here. It is pretty cool stuff, honestly, right there, right? And he plays Howling a Mine. Are, are we for real, real here? That that is a lot of insanity. But. As foretold, allows us to cast Brainstorm on his turn, or, well, pretty much whenever we please for free. So, actually, kind of the best thing in the universe. We need to find something that deals for damage, because, boys, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we, we, we need that. We, we really do need that. 
Uh, play Celestus. I think I want to cast Dawn of Dreams also. Drown in Dreams, Viscozy, almost. <laughs> ah, Freudian slip. Uh, Memorial to what could be good. But do I actually care about it too much? Do I care about having two mon? Probably not, so Memorial to what I guess it is. And next turn we can brain- well, next turn I mean his turn we can brainstorm. If he drops Saruman, we cookin'. Because Saruman ain't no opponent to- That- what, what do you mean, Ayo Sky of the Dawn? What- what's wrong with you? Anyway, okay, this is- this is definitely something. I need- I- I- I need to mix this up. Oh, <laughs> Actually, no, I don't need to mix this up. I can just cast that, technically. We're drawing a lot because of him, so... Maybe it's not all that bad. I'm not gonna play Gandalf just yet, because, you know, reasons. I can just do this, probably, and get away with it. Or I can just do this. Wait, I can... Well, it had targets, uh, this also targets Planeswalkers, so maybe not big smart. <laughs> uh, I want to play this because the blue Drake tokens are kind of nasty. But yeah, I, I guess it's just instantaneously this. There, there, there's no question about it, okay? Yeah, sure, search for your photo or less whatever card, put it on the battlefield, call it a day. I didn't actually expect that from a Saruman player. Wow. Did anyone expect that? Ooh, Nazgul's, eh? Well, that's cute, not gonna lie. So, next turn, we can't do anything now, but next turn we can actually... Okay. Saruman and Saruman. The white one was kind of questionable. It, it was a little bit of a su sussy boy right there, but it's... Ooh. Okay. Okay, how much can we do here? Can we storm plus anything else? I really... I... This is not gonna destroy the Saruman. But then again, we have this guy. Uh, I think I can play this for free. No. I can play this, but what happens if I play this for... I kinda don't wanna play Rowan and Will just, uh, just, uh, just for it to be removed, honestly. So what's the play here? Do I maybe do this? How much? Three man. Boys, no play currently looks good. Maybe it's gonna be... Maybe it is Rowan into something. I don't want to storm Zvrat just yet. I want to save everything for Saruman. Okay, Drown in Dreams it is. Counterspell? Uh, overwhelming Wave? Kinda good, kinda good. Uh, this is not that bad. Okay, we're gonna go for the wave and the bat song. Sigil is not too useful here because... Uh, no, I'm not gonna cast anything. I'm just gonna ditch whatever this is. And I'm gonna ditch... Actually, I want that land. No, I don't want that land. Okay, okay. Just, just... Just dodge the Saruman, and it's all good in the hood. Just, just dodge it. Also, Brotherhood's end and being in the graveyard is not good, because this can destroy artifacts, and that's a problem. Okay. Relic? That's fine. I think he's trying to be big brain and, you know, do, do stuff like that. I'm not sure how much that's gonna work out, but boys, we got a match right here. And I feel, I, I, I feel lucky, don't know about you, but I feel lucky. He's kind of like a creature-based Saruman build, which is a little bit strange. But I guess, maybe he's just using Saruman because reasons. Also, his name is Shadow345. Big sus. Anyway, draw more, Shabazzle. I could literally Velming Wave him because, uh, because... Well, no, actually, I'm not gonna Velming Wave him just yet. I'm gonna do this for free real estate because my reasons. Uh, and then I'm gonna just Cosmic Elixir plus Ravon. Actually, no. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna force him to do things. You don't wanna deal with these ugly drakes, okay? Actually, I kinda like the art. See? See? Instantaneous. Instantaneous reaction. And now we just play Ravon. Ravon is super nice here. Because he's afraid of that emblem. He's he's it, he's definitely afraid of that five cost emblem, and that's perfect for us. As long as we can dodge the 
Ooh. Oh, another Nazgul. With a very in Wait, why do you have two different Nazgul arts? That's... That's awkward. Well, whatever. Uh, five to five pops on that. Hmm. Uh, I think he's gonna pan... He's definitely gonna panic. Right? He is definitely gonna panic, most likely, at some point. Okay, so I can do, do this for six mana or two mana. I don't like you, God Pharaoh statue, not gonna lie. Okay, drop this. How do we do this? Do we just drop Shark Typhoon for full mana cost? Ah, uh, I think yes. I think yes. At least he's not getting... If, if he casts Saruman and he decides to be an absolute enormous not friendly person, you know, it's fine. Oh, we don't have two mana for this. Haha, <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, hmm. I guess... I, 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 no, wait. Whelming wave, whelming wave, boys. Again, I don't. I, I want to bait him into trying to deal with my Rowan here because that's the sauce. That that's the big cheese play. Okay, okay, man, that God Fado statue completely came out of left field. Did not. Oh, come on, baby, don't 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 hit me where it hurts. And well, he kind of has nothing. Yeah, he has Brotherhood Zen. I guess his best cap Brainstorm. A uh, bra. How about Drowning Dreams? That that's kind of a bigly one, you know. Well, I guess it's fine. Okay, first Saruman play. Nothing does nothing. Okay, this got an instant or sorcery or enchantment. That's a little bit annoying, but I think it's dealable. Ooh, big score, big score. Okay, okay. Ooh, Jace. Now we're cooking. Okay, we got an emblem. No. That's that that that's real nasty. I ain't gonna lie. There's no who, who. I I thought for a moment he's gonna do something uh, even nastier. Okay, we can just discard this and enchantment. Uh, discarding the enchantment is literally the bathhouse, but bathhouse is actually way better than cleanse Z Mindu. And I'm not gonna copy this one. No, thank you. Okay, 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 now we're cooking, now we're cooking. And also, boys, I'm not done yet. We still need to cook, Jesse. Okay, I'm gonna ditch the Jace. He's kind of doing nothing here. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Accurate reenactment, I would say. Oh, that's cute, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. Do one damage to my fish. Who honestly cares? Uh, anyway, do it. And, ooh. A Chandra. Now that's spice. Now that is that, that is some spicy, nicey stuff. Okay, well he's still kind of aggressive towards us, which makes sense. We're playing magic against this person. Okay, and that's Bastion, you say? Oh come on, stop doing this. You're annoying. You're actually annoying. Stop. Stop right there, scum. Okay, do I want to drop this? Shh. Sure. Can I actually play the Chandra? Technically can. Ah, uh, Cosmic Elixir or Bat House. Bruh, I'm gonna go Batty House, okay? Yeah, that that's that's some good that's some good stuff right here. And now we draw cards. Ooh! This! Oh, I can't cast it only. Oh, that's a little bit sad. I can't cast the counter spell, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We're currently under the protection of myself, which is important because I like myself. You should also probably like yourself. It's like the best way to do things. Also, how did this... How does this work? Opponent, a bow deals damage first uh, one they draw each... What if... What is this? Oh, wait, what is this now, even? Uh, Voracious Fell Beast. I kind of remember seeing you, but I don't remember- Oh! Why is she dealing- Wait, what happened? What, 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 what do you mean something just hap- What, what just happened? Is he gonna win? There's no shot! There's no shot! Oh no, this ain't looking good. Oh, he has also has... Who does he even have? Oh, he's a, he has done a Drake. Okay. Okay, why am I losing HP so much? Why am I losing HP so much? Oh, uh, sure. Dude! 
Are you kidding me? This is not good. <laughs> Am I just gonna lose because reasons? Dude, I'm... how does this work? Draw a card except the first they draw. Dude, this thing is OP OP! I actually just lost. I actually just lost the card draw to 20 damage from an orc. Oh, look at that. We're playing against the Renan Seri. It's the cutest thing in the world. It's a cat and a dog. Kind of fan of the cat, honestly. I'm more of a cat person. I understand dogs. I get dogs. When I was a kid, we had a poodle. The cutest absolute little thing in the universe. My mom picked it up from the parking lot at her work. It, it, she was abandoned. And that, that that little thing just was the... Well, great greatest thing in the universe, not gonna lie. I absolutely loved that thing. And she lived a long and happy life, but one time she sadly... Well, you know, it didn't end good for her. You know, sadly she got under a car. But, you know, that's, that, that's just life sometimes. Life sometimes chooses to happen, as sad as that may be. But, I do... I, I loved her a lot, and... Well... So, I, I kind of like dogs also, but I'm more of a cat person, you know? I But admittedly, you know what I think at the end of the day? I think at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're a cat person or a dog person. Uh, you can say you want uh, like one more than the other. The reality is... The reality... Dude, what is this? Oh, it's cats. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it, make, it makes suddenly sense. I haven't seen this also. But yeah, I don't think it matters if you're a cat person or you're a dog person. The reality is, like, 99% of people, if they say they're a dog person or a cat person, whenever they're actually introduced with the other one, you're gonna love them anyway. You're, you're gonna love them no matter what. It's, it's just gonna be the way it's gonna be, you know? I actually want that. I actually kind of really do want that. Because we can get a free as foretold as, uh, that way. And that's pretty, that's pretty juiced. That is definitely kind of the big juice. Actually, I also completely just botched that one up. But then again, that deal damage 3 to everything. It's nice. Okay, so Gandalf into a simulacrum. Simulacrum and multiple as foretold? Yeah, that sounds actually kind of on. Well, it doesn't sound on. Whoa, Ketra! It's been forever. Why would you play a Ketra, though, my dude? Like, questions. Actually, I have a way to deal with a Ketra. Well, admittedly, it's not gonna be too dangerous, right? Ooh, fancy. Well, fancy schmancy doesn't actually mean anything, huh? Uh, cast this. For that, and let's just do it for a three. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm one mana off, huh? I guess I could just play the Fari in that case, huh? Maybe? Wait, how does this work if I cast it for free? Ah, oh, yeah, it works exactly as expected, poorly. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It works exactly as expected. Very poorly. In any case, I think this is the probably better play, because next turn I will still be able to do stuff, right? I will still be able to do stuff. And I'm no, 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 in no absolute, you know, you know, uh, rush to actually copy as foretold. It's like a neat play we can do, but the question is, do we actually even want to do the play? When you, could you also attack three or, uh, three, uh, three creatures? That's a lot, boy. Well, at least now he has a Tefari to target, so, you know, I'm kind of okay with this. Also, I don't feel that there's any legitimate way for him to actually, you know, uh, get. Oh, he's doing it like that. Uh, I care about the Tefari a little bit. So let's do it like this. Also, he didn't play anything. Sus, questionable. Okay, now he does this. Right, that, okay, 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 now, now, now we're talking, now we're talking. Now, Ketra's gonna attack, which is gonna be bad, but I have Soul Seer. I have absolutely Soul Seer, and it's fine. So, do this, uh, copy this, I, I mean, sure, why honestly not? Uh, yeah, a Command Tower also seems fine. 
And you know what? Your, your stuff also seems extremely fine. You know what? Wait, are you a legendary? Uh, no. Good enough. <laughs> history of ever has been done boys absolutely no regrets <laughs> look at this man look at this so do we play a cat yeah i think we just pop a cat down like that <laughs> oh man what a play what an absolute legendary play yeah and a free as foretold because honestly why not at this point right Oh, I shouldn't have probably done it like that. I should have probably played as for... But this is fine. <laughs> have you ever seen anyone have three command towers? I have not. I am gonna ditch uh, this because it's a little bit annoying. And you know what? Arcane Sigil, sure. Ditch also that. And actually, yeah, one command tower. Man, I actually never knew that command tower is not a legendary land. I thought it's a legendary land. Wow. But yeah, have you ever seen anyone have three command towers? <laughs> probably not, probably not. That's something else. That's, that's just different. Okay, so now I have to deal with an Oketra. And my Oketra is better than your Oketra. Also, Oketra is kind of like, uh, you know, a little bit mommy. You know, just that wee bit mommy. Also, hmm. He's... Ooh! Oh! Oh, he only has one token. Okay, then that's not that bad. I think he's gonna attack with a Ketra, but I have Soul Seal, which he does not expect. Uh, do I care about protecting? Actually, I do, yeah, sure. Oh, I can't actually- oh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, we're still doing it like this. Because we need that Soul Seer. We, we, we need to mark our target, boys. You know? And he get uh, he can't get past everything, so this is fine. He's like currently thinking, "What are you doing on each other?" And I'm like, questionable decision making, I know, but it is what it is. Running out of time. And now we just soul seer the Oketras. Unexpected, yeah. You probably literally never expected something like that. Admittedly, who would? That is not a normal play by any standards. And you know what? Now I just feel. Feel like leaving. I'm gonna make. I can't. Enrique Iglesias is just still good. Not gonna lie. Also, you only have four mana, my dude. Well, this is what what happens when you take a non-wizard to a wizarding duel, Hattie. You you get stomped. It is what it is. Also, at this point, fun interaction. Two mo two more. A well, actually, it's all uh, two more as foretolds, and technically. Pumping up uh, Proliferate land, which I forgot the name of for some stupid reason, is gonna be more effective mana wise than actually, uh, than actually, you know, doing anything else. Okay, so let's do it like this. He still has a cat. This is an involved cat, by the way. Nice. Uh, let's draw Prowl, why not, honestly. The more draws, the better. Also, our planeswalkers do actually, like, contribute. Ooh. Absolute evil. Uh, uh, unquestionable absolute evil, boys. The river's rebuke. Oh, ho, ho, ho! What a time to be alive! River's rebuke! Double! Unbelievable! Oh, hey, we got at least our second thing. I hate you! Ab absolutely without question. Okay, at least we're gonna find uh, so, uh, find some good stuff. Ah, uh, sure, Hover of Devastation, why not? Not the best card, but you know what? I'm currently kind of, you know... Ooh! Ah, uh, Cold Steel Hot. Well, at least we can get it back, boys. Man, we we did so much, and what uh, and what did it mean at the end? Nothing. The de de devastating, devastating. Ah oh, man, dude, and he and this guy knew. He knew cleansing knob on creatures is technically better. 
But, but he just wanted to be that guy, okay? That's why he's using that avatar. Not great. Not great. Respectable decision making, honestly, but not great. Not great at all. For me, personally, feel betrayed. Feel, you know, a little bit stabbed. A lot, in fact. Okay, this is kind of neat. This is kind of neat because we can double it up. Okay, do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you can always put Gandalf on top of the library, so you technically don't even need the combo. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. Anyway, do this. Uh, do one of these, why not? And I guess, I guess over the devastation. We got River's Rebuke, so it's fine. Uh, tap Gandalf. Uh, let's do this. Bam! Is this the win by the- Ooh, that's a lot of counter spells. Also, I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure we just win if we do this, right? Yeah, we should be winning. And we can also, by the way, tap it if we feel like it. Easy victory! Ah, it's been a long time since I saw someone play Ivy. Interesting, what are we gonna see? But anyway, boys. I got something for you, and this one's big. Well, it's it's reasonable, honestly. But it, this one's for all of you people who are trying to just live your best uh, best life, have a good time, and you know you know do the right things and whatnot. And this is for the ones who are trying to climb the corporate ladder. Because if you do not know, by the way, I am someone who actually made it quite far the corporate ladder without any hu uh, huge huge. Uh, huge influence from my family because my family is not actually rich or anything like well probably no one's ever thought my family is rich or anything like that but you get the point essentially i was pretty good at climbing the ladder and i will tell you a couple of secrets a couple of secrets because i have achieved quite a lot when i was 25 i was already pretty much in a relatively respected enough position to be the head of uh, the finance department in a you know government institution with a lot of workers and whatnot so that's a thing but the most important thing for anyone who actually ever wants to move up uh, up the ladder up the positions and whatnot is honestly very simple and and this is the best tip anyone's ever gonna give you in your life honestly and it is you don't need to be the smartest at math you need no need to be the smartest at you know whatever you're honestly doing you just don't it is what it is, you just- this thing's OP, by the way. Y you don't need to do any of that, okay? What you need is to just have the ability to make people agree with you. 90% of being, for example, a good business analyst is not understanding numbers. It's just getting people to agree with what you say because it's smart, okay? And in situations like this, let me give you the social dynamic, how it works. You're someone who needs to convince the X person of doing something, and you convince them, you know? But you, uh, and you convince them. And that thing that you convince them on is, by the way, wrong. And you even know it. Now, you may think that that's probably big bad. And, you know, in a lot of cases, yeah, it's technically kind of big bad. But if you are just good enough as a people person, this is what happens. The, the, this is the secret. Do I want Tessa? Probably not here, honestly. This is the secret sauce that happens. Even if some low-ranking file plebeian under you, like with 20 feet under you, uh, comes up and tells their boss, Wait a minute, everything this guy said is wrong and stupid, and it is wrong and stupid. That person, that person has already agreed with you, so even if it's wrong, they're still not gonna like just be, Oh, how can this be wrong? You're so stupid, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 they're still gonna be on your side, and they're gonna pretty much like ignore what that other person says, and they're just gonna, you're, you're gonna just fix the thing and never talk about it. This is how these social dynamics work. What just happened? Why would that happen, though, is probably the better question. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I am not happy noises about this. But yeah, that's the thing. And I mean, again, I, I'll, I'll give you a, I haven't told this story in like a year or something. But, I'm the guy who literally sent out an email to roughly 1,000 to 1,050 people, calling them literal idiots. And, I, and I'm not downplaying, I literally called them morons, pretty much, in that email. You know, if you didn't understand, if you didn't understand that I'm calling everyone in that email an idiot, 
uh, you have problems. And what happened? Two hours later, the board of directors calls my, at the time, uh, female boss. And it's not a conversation of, FIRE THIS IDIOT! No, they know, they know who I am, they know how, how smart I am, they know how absolutely destructive I can be, if I want to be, you know? They're not gonna let that slide. They, they, they literally call my female boss and tell her, PLEASE GET HIM TO WRITE AN APOLOGY EMAIL TO THESE PEOPLE, PLEASE! PLEASE! YOU MUST DO IT, OTHERWISE YOU'RE POTENTIALLY GETTING FIRED! <laughs> yeah, that's that's some hardcore enjoyment, boys, I ain't gonna lie, that, that's some other type of stuff, you know? At the end, she couldn't convince me of doing it, because I didn't care, because I know that I'm not gonna get fired, no one's gonna fire me, I'm too valuable. Oh yeah. And MILF boss, just, well, she's not MILF boss. Primal MILF, uh, excuse me, the MILF lore is getting a little bit hazy at this point, it's been years. Primal MILF comes up to me and says, oh, come on, just, just apologize, do it for me, just be nice. And I do it. Absolute simp. But I did it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he has a combo wombo, hey? Ah, uh, so what are you gonna do? Huh. You can't real well you can attack, but you're not gonna get a lot from the attack. Okay. Plus I have midnight clock plus river's rebuke, which is Ah my nose is itching. Ah am I gonna sneeze? Ah no, probably not. But yeah, that's the situation. So remember, being liked by people is far more valuable than actually any smuts. There are so little professions in this world left that actual smarts are more important than being likable. It, it's insanity. It is literally insanity. Uh, cute, I guess? Hand, sure, hand it is. Well, I mean, you think you're doing stuff, but at the same time, I'm gonna just Rivers Rebuke you and hopefully... Yes, I will have the mana for Midnight Clock and Rivers Rebuke. Now we're cooking. Also, I don't care about Shalilai that much, honestly. It's like, okay, he draws one card. Big whoop. Oh, this is... No, actually, this is uh, weaker. So... Yes, exactly. Perfection. What's, what, what up, baby boo? And next turn, I get the setup. I, I got the Storm's Rat. I have the Rall Is It. You know, I, I have all of the good stuff here. Oh, yeah. And again, Planeswalker's double as removal for us in a lot of cases. So it's pretty good. Also, this... Dude, man, if he just did not get rid of the orb... This thing is completely whack, though. Absolutely, without question, insane. Uh, is that gonna be your play? Well, I don't care about it. Okay, so you're gonna do this and probably just combat research and call it a day? Then I can just Storm Vrat you. Storm Vrat plus... Oh, I can actually Storm Vrat plus Rall. That's impressively good. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, uh, the turn instantaneously flipped, so he definitely has no play, which is nice. Nice. And now, a free roll. Haha. <laughs> or I could honestly maybe... Nah, Archmage's Charm is a little bit, uh, a little bit scuffed here. Well, next turn it's not gonna be scuffed, but for now... Ooh! It's not actually good. It's not actually that good. But it's pretty juiced. It's definitely pretty juiced. Oh, also, one thing about Thousand Year Storm. Thousand Year Storm is... This, this, is, this is not a real specification of card class, but this is for me. Uh, Thousand Year Storm uh, co goes in the category of cards that are really powerful, but they need follow-up. I call it follow-up cards. Like, a Thousand Year Storm may seem like the literal bestest thing ever, because it seems like very powerful and on point and whatnot. Uh, but the reality is, is, po uh, is the uh, Thousand Year Storm needs a follow-up card. Without a follow-up card, without anything to cast, Thousand Year Storm is just dead in the water. Like, beyond dead in the water, in fact. So, you know, um, it's strong, but it's, but it's nothing alone. 
you know it's a very strong card and it's not a combo piece well it's technically it is a combo piece but combos are you know like you need two specific cards to like do something right so this is not that exactly in any case i can do this i can just uh wait and then we can arc mage charm pretty sure hmm pretty sure i can just wait how does this work? Can I Archmage's Chan copy it with Gandalf and draw? Hmm. I don't know, actually, the interaction. I'm pretty sure I can. I should really figure out the copy interactions. Because I, I, I forget all of them. I have seen them. I, ha I, play, I have played this game way too much, honestly. I, I, I have seen all the interactions, but I forget all the interactions. Because, again, seeing way too many interactions... Uh, no idea what the hell is this. Put a counter on target to up that can't be on that. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, for a moment there, I thought it's actually for some reason. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we're copying it. For a moment there, I thought I can't counter spell for whatever reason. That would have been scary, boys. Okay, so next turn, it's Thousand Year Storm into Prismatic Command, probably. I, 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 I... Oh! Oh! So you can't copy it like that. Well, ain't that just the saddest thing you have ever seen in your life? So it's locked in. Okay, so it locks the decision. Ah oh, man, that that that's that's not good. That's not good. Also, chair noises. Like the video for the chair noises. Maybe become a channel member, Patreon member, or whatever. It is what it is. Also, uh, come on, you have seven HP. Gandalf is. Wait. Oh my God, it works. <laughs> it actually works. Okay, deal damage. Yeah. You, you, you have 4 HP left. What up, baby? What up? I can literally... Actually, can I? No, I can't. I'm close, though, probably. Thousand Year Storm? Sure, why honestly not? And... Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Create, no, deal damage. Target player draws MacGuffins. Oh, wait, I just win. Yeah, th this is fine. Uh, th this, 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 this is actually fine. Ah, uh, yeah, because, wait, no, do we win? Well, now we have a Rowan, so I guess we definitely on the sleazy side of things, you know? Uh, maybe I should have actually waited. Oh, the Tefari, bruh, doesn't even matter. Yo, we're winning no matter what. We're winning no matter what, boys. It's gonna be great, great. It's gonna be big. I love Midnight Clock so much. Ah, uh, the only bad part is no one likes watching is it videos. That's sad. Oh, River's Rebuke, eh? Well, I mean, impressive. But not really. So, what do I do? I probably just drop Tefari. Dude, that's probably his only card that does anything even remotely close to that. So now I can just drop Tefari. Uncontested. And do this. And now I can just drop you, and well... Well, now I can just also drop a Cold Steel Hot, which is pretty neat. Okay, and I just deal one damage. Can deal the three damage, not, not, not good enough yet. But, you know, soon, soon, soon. We still have the roll, we still have the things, like, come on, one damage. Well, he probably expects a lightning strike or something, but we don't really have a lot of things that just, you know, blatantly hit face. In fact, we don't have anything that hits face. It's all emblems, Ravanas, and Tefaris, honestly. <laughs> they no, 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 no. Uh, that's an obvious lie. We do have some things that hit face. You know, we, we just we just literally cast the thing that hits face for two. Where is it, though? Uh, hello? Oh, here it is. Prismari Command. I thought, where the hell did Prismari Command go? But in any case, I think we win. Oh, he's AFK or something. Dude, there's nothing you can do. Uh, can you... Uh, yeah, this is just... Okay. <laughs> 1 HP. What you gonna do, my dude? 
There's no way. Your, your only play is literally buff the... Okay. Uh, what now? Yeah, what now? Do I mine? Yeah, I'm... No, wait, minusing is... Wait, no, then he can't attack. Genius. <laughs> Complete accidental misplay, but genius. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like to see. Okay, so if he, if he can't attack, but man, unex... Dude, epic proportions. Did anyone see this coming? No, obviously no one saw this coming. Phone sounds. Well, whatever. Uh, you're not winning, my Ivy friend. Even though you did have combat research, which is like the most egregiously big thing in the universe, if you think about it. Uh, also, I can actually do this, well, Gandalf, into Flames of Anor. And that's pretty juiced. Actually, it's more Gandalf stuff. Well, yeah, it's, it's called. Choose. If you control a wizard, you may choose two instead of one. Which means we're destroying stuff and oh, we're drawing a lot of stuff. And, well, then, then we have Thousand Year Storm. How much mana does... Uh, we have three mana... Four mana left. You know what? That's actually good enough. Yeah, we're probably gonna draw some form of lethal. I don't know what you just did, but it's probably not impressive. Uh, well, you did get a pixie, which is kind of big, questionable, sussy stuff right there. But I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Oh, yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah, boys. Watch this. Wah. Wah. Dance moves, baby. Yeah. That's actual dance move. Fly? I am not impressed. What are you gonna do with it, though? You can't attack. My dude. Oh, he really wants the Defari gone, huh? Uh, and now I just win with the hit, honestly. I mean, he needed to do something, I guess. That is definitely true. But was that something actually literally worth this much? I don't even know. I do not even know. In any case, if we have... By the way, we can go so absolutely egregiously big right here. I, I mean beyond big, okay? Watch this. Gandhi, copy that bad boy. Copy that bad boy, Gandhi. Oh, yeah. And then we just, you know, hit more stuff, I guess. Uh, we draw a lot. And the best part is we actually have uh, Vince Fall here, which makes our turn last even longer because it's a thousand year storm's winds fall on, well, a pretty big margin, honestly, it looks like. So watch this. It's the dumbest thing ever. Actually, yeah, Jace, I'm gonna ditch you. Gandalf cannot uh, even OTK him. And that's what he's gonna do. Amazing. So this is the strangest thing ever. I don't know what's currently happening, but this is like the fifth person who is p uh, playing Atraxa Predator's voice. That's not the actual real name of the card, but close enough. I, I don't know what's happening, but... All of these people are playing a Traxa, and they're going a- Oh, this guy's not AFK. Whoo! Whoo! Man, I was afraid that this guy is also gonna be AFK. I don't know why, but I have been- I have played already against five people who are playing exactly this card, and AFK. Mind-blowing, I know. But in any case, look at that, he's starting with the Halfling. Which means, well, yeah, you can cast the Traxa pretty early, my dude. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. I will be able to cast Oliver of Devastation if I feel like it. Or alternatively, maybe ramp in the Sunbirds and then out of Devastation. Maybe even Urabresk Block. <gasps> Yo! That is just problematic. Wait, proliferate? Is, is that a joke? So, I aim. So, for, dude, at the beginning of your end step, proliferate. What am I supposed to do? Well, I'm supposed to cast Gandalf. That's what I'm supposed to do. That much I can easily tell you. Because, well, it's time to copy spells, Gandhi. 
it, it's it's time to do it because uh, your life literally depends on it. And I kind of need you to do big things, you know, very big things. A uh, Johnny, no one cares. The pride of the whatevers. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you can do that, Chief. No, no questions asked. Wait, maybe I actually let... No, I can't let... Okay, he does Is there a world where I actually greed this? No, there's no world where I actually greed this. This is... This is just absolutely absurd. <laughs> but I want to. Well, actually, it would be fire emancipation, if anything. But nah, he's gonna play the emblem, so... Oh, you did good, Gandhi. You you did good. You did good, my dude. Yeah, no, seriously, you actually did an amazing job. Ha-ha! <laughs> Woo! Boys! I, I was worried so much. I, I mean, I wasn't worried at all right there. Easiest game of my life. Woo! Okay. Woo, man. That was so close. And now he just casts the relic. Bra, which means it's time to ramp it up, boys. Yes! Yes! That's good! That's good! Oh, Sunbird's Invocation, I love you so much. You're the only card I have read the full text stuff. Well, and, and Immortal Sun. Whoa, this guy's going deep, yo. Wow. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter how deep you go, at some point you understand it. Fire Emancipation takes literally no hostages. Ooh, we can get a Tessa, we can get a Tefari. Ah, uh, I actually- Tessa is like super nice because she's the Gandalf combo here, by the way. She is the quintessential Gandalf combo wombo. Oh yeah. In any case, I can- wait. Can I pump the clock up to maximum and then just OTK him instantaneously with a spirit token? I think I feel it, boys. I I think I feel it. Oh yeah, bruh, this is gonna be the most insane play in the history of ever. Watch this, watch this. So, we pump it. We pump it more. Yeah. Seven cards, baby. Seven cards. Eh, oh, oh, no! No! So, what are your opinions? What are your thoughts? Is the build good? Was the video good? I hope you enjoyed it. And man, I have to say, a card that copies spells is just... I, I don't play Is It a lot. But, man, copying things with Is It is just so prime. Is it and just copying stuff is the way to go. I absolutely adore it. In any case, this was Quizzer Sensei and thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon. Maybe join the join button on the YouTube page and have a nice day. Bye bye.